Hi everyone and uh, welcome to uh, part two of my uh, series of videos on how to uh, program the Alesis SR18 drum machine. Uh, in the first uh, video I showed you how to make a basic drum track and now in this video I'm going to show you how to uh, add the bass, uh, the bass line, which is a, a nice feature that this drum machine also has. So you've got drums and bass together. So first of all, we'll <clears throat> we start off with a blank pattern. So I'm just going to erase the pattern that's on here now by pressing erase and pressing down record enter. It says fill erase, uh, which is do we want to erase the fill? So I press that again. Yes. So now we have a, a basic um, blank pattern. So we just did need to do some record settings uh, quickly. I'm just going over briefly what I did before. So press record setup, uh, quantize. I'm going to keep it at two bars uh, rather than two bars and three. Um, just it's easier sometimes to get the bass um, quantized right. So or quantized right, I should say. So we'll start with just uh, two lines on the note, which is a um, a kind of middle of the road uh, quantize select. Uh, scroll up with the page buttons, uh, gate keeping the same, swing not using, click select for the click track, um, yes, I click volume, it's fine, velocity medium, beat four, uh, four beats in the bar, a note value four, and I'm going to go for pattern length four. So that's four, four, 16, so that's 16 beats in the bar. Okay, so that's that sorted back to the pattern. So if we press uh, record and play uh, together, um, it will arm and start recording immediately. Um, so I've got to do that now. So you can hear the click track and then you'll hear the loud click at the end, which signifies the start of the pattern to record again, like that. So I shall just wait till it comes around again and put down the kick drum. Okay, and add the snare. Okay, and add the hi hats. I just missed one there, so I'll just go over that again. Okay, so let's stop that. So that's, that's the drum track uh, down, and we just press save, copy, and record enter. So that's saved. Uh, right, now to add uh, the bass. So first of all, what we do is we press bass. And in this little box here, it says space and minus one octave. Um, so that shows where the uh, the octave is or what the octave is. If you want to move to a higher octave, you press and hold base. Is it minus one? So we go up to zero. And then if we go up to plus one. So that's a bit high. I want it set at minus one. Okay. Now, then we want to choose our... Uh, bass sound. So we press drum set and if you use the value wheel it'll scroll through all the drum or the bass sounds sorry that you can use um, of which there are loads. So there we go uh, and it says drum set edited because this is a, a bass sound that I have edited. So drums are that's the bass sound I want to use. Now, if you want to edit um, this bass sound and customize it into a particular sounding bass that you want, um, so you use the little page button. So once you've uh, chosen your bass sound, uh, then you just scroll up the button. So that's the volume. I have it set a little bit high so it can be heard on the speaker. And I'm not 
not too high. Um, rattle, that's the actual uh, user, or not username, that's the preset name of the drum or the bass sound, excuse me, that I used um, to customize. Uh, pad volume is not available in this mode. Panning, obviously we know what that is. Tuning, so if you want to almost transpose or tune your, your bass sound up. So you can go down if you want. So keep it simple, we'll leave it at zero. Envelope attack, well we know what that is. Um, that's uh, envelope decay, envelope release. So if you want it hanging or if you want it staccato. So it's up to yourself. You can play around with that. Uh, filter, obviously. Uh, sign mode multi, I just leave it at that. Um, and output mains, yes, I want it through left and right. Um, you can go auxiliary, but no, just leave it through the mains as for now, that's the most simple one. And then the name. So you can edit the name of your bass sound. Uh, again, highly recommend that. Um, it's too easy to get lost with all the types of uh, bass sounds and drum sounds. So if you do customize something, put your name on it, put a name on it, put some reference on it so you know what it is when you go back to look for it. Anyway, so that's all we need to do. Uh, we've customized our bass sound. So if we press drum set, we're now back. Okay, another useful feature on the drum machine is that on the pads, they've written uh, the uh, note values. So you've got F, G, A, B, C, C sharp, D sharp, A sharp. So that's very handy when it comes to playing the bass line um, because you know what each note uh, is according to the pad. So when you're playing the pads, you know that you're playing A, you know you're playing B, uh, and that's handy um, when it comes, so it comes to, to writing the bass line. Okay, once you've uh, chosen your bass sound and you've customized it, you need to save it. So you press save copy and it says save set number six. Um, so it's on number six and then all you do is press record at the same time as pressing save copy and it says set saved. So that's your customized bass sound um, saved and that sound can be used um, again and again and again and you can go back in and you can edit it if you need to add a little bit more release or decay or whatever you want to do to it um, so and you can then just save it again and then it'll be saved and that then will replicate through all the patterns that you've used that drum or that bass sound on okay so now we press drum set to get us back so what we do as usual is we press record enter and if we press play at the same time it will arm immediately. So our chord light is on, tempo is on, you can see the beat scrolling through so it's armed and ready to record uh, your bass line. Bass line. And if that's a bit slow, what we can do is we just press tap tempo and turn the value key to speed it up a bit. Okay. Now, obviously if we're happy with that, if we're happy with the tempo, we're happy with the bass uh, pattern and the drum pattern, then we just press and hold uh, save copy and uh, we want to save it to pattern 90 that was the pattern that it was we started with and we just press record save is done so that's your tempo saved your bass uh, track saved and your drum track saved or drum patterns whichever you want to call it and so if we press play now that's it Another little thing as well to note is that if you decide you don't want to have the bass line, 
on your drum track or you want to use uh, some of the preset drums but you don't want the bass on it um, so let me just press the, uh, the start button here play button so you've got a drum beat with a bass line but you don't want the bass line just see the mute button hold down mute and press the bass button at the same time and that's the bass taken off and if I stop that and if I scroll down through other patterns that I've got here there is no bass it will take the bass off all the patterns that you've playing and it will if you go even into uh, song mode and you're playing an entire song if you've muted the bass it will mute it in all the songs and all the patterns until such times as you unmute it so okay so when the bass is muted you'll see the bass sign flashing and so the drums are playing no bass and to reactivate it you just press the uh, mute button and the bass button together so and the bass is activated again Okay guys, that's it. I um, hope this video was useful to you. If you liked it and like to see more, um, please like and subscribe to my channel. Um, much appreciated. As I say, it, it inspires me to make more videos and hopefully, even if it only helps one or two people, that's, um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Okay guys, uh, until the next time, take care of yourselves and uh, bye for now.